welcome to the second edition of Breaking Balls with me, Des Cahill. Uh, today's show is brought to you in association with Kitty Connell's Curtains. If the curtains are open, we're open. <laughs> yes, very clever. Uh, but uh, on the show, uh, we're joined by Jurlock Nan, Brian Cody and Andy Kenny. And we'll also have a very special guest from the US of A to tell us all about the GAA coverage in the States. Uh, but firstly, Jurlock Nan, Kilkenny now face Tipperary in the All-Ireland Final. And last week, you said Cork would surely overcome the Premier County. I said no such thing. I said, said no said such thing. Week. Listen to me. Hang on. Go back in your word. You're going Cahill, back in your word now. I said Cork had a chance of winning last Sunday's match. But during last Sunday's performance, they were like a man that goes to the Debs on his own. Lost, confused, and everybody wondering where the other half of him has gone. Now, Cork winning the Mustard Championship and then losing the All-Ireland semi-final was like a cow that would give you milk before kicking over the bloody bucket, huh? An absolute disaster. But do you think the five-week break between the Munster final win and the All-Ireland semi-final was a disadvantage to Cork? Des, I don't know what the Cork hurlers were doing for the past five weeks because it certainly wasn't training. Uh, Rumour has it, Des, that the Cork County Board were so starved to pay for the demolition of Parky Creeve that they had the actual hurling team themselves tearing it down brick by brick, huh? But look, now Tipperary face Kilkenny in the All Ireland final in a few weeks, and this sneaky hood beside me, oh, oh, he'll be watering at the mouth at the thought of facing Tipperary, no doubt, huh? Okay, okay, relax, Chair. Uh, Brian Cody, uh, you will now face Tipperary in the All Ireland final. Uh, how will you prepare your side for such a big game? Jur mm, calling me sneaky whore. Kettle calling pot black, if you ask me. You're uh, not even yeah. a snake. Oh, You're not oh, even a I'm snake, the snake. Buddy. I'm the snake, am I? What about that fiver I gave you back in 2002? No sign of it since, Jor boy. No sign of it since. The cheek of you, Cody, huh? The cheek of you. I kept that fiver because I bought you a pint at the All Star dinner dance back in 2002, and you never bought me one back. Okay, cool the jets. Relax. Okay, deep breath in. And deep breath out. Okay, okay, back to business now. Uh, Broy Cody, uh, you're known for keeping your cards close to your chest before an All Ireland final, but can you tell us anything on how this All Ireland final, what's it going to be like? Well, Des, it's going to be like every other All Ireland final. There's going to be 15 men from Kilkenny against 15 men from Tipperary. There's going to be a referee in the middle with a whistle and a ball. There's going to be over 80,000 people in the stand and millions watching it worldwide. There'll be a man selling programmes outside and some Dublin knacker trying to sell you a ticket for a ridiculous price and the only thing he deserves is a bloody hurley up the hall. Okay, Brian, okay, That's thanks. what it's going to be like. I get quite scared here. But uh, moving to football. Oh, God almighty, football, for God's sake, I couldn't get out of here, a bloody... Okay, uh, boy, Brian, uh, Jesus, he's terrified. But uh, Mayo face Kerry next Sunday in the first of the football semi-finals. And Eddie Kenny, uh, do you think Mayo have learned anything from the previous two all Ireland final defeats. A tough all to wrote is uh, Mayo. I suppose Mayo are like the girl that keeps repeating the leaving search with the hope of getting enough points to do primary teaching, but ends up doing child care and truly IT instead. You know, Kerry will be stern in opposition, no doubt, and I suppose the only way we're going to stop James O'Donoghue between now and next Sunday is... I don't know if we do him for tax evasion or something. Or maybe tie his shoelaces together. Uh, but uh, if Mayo do overcome Kerry and reach yet another final, uh, will the people of Mayo approach it with more hope than expectation? Well, Des, I actually think it's going to be third time's the charm this year for Mayo. And I think people all over the world will know where they were when Mayo finally put that bastard of a course to bed and we all slept easy in the west. Ah yeah, good man, Ed. <laughs> That'll be the day. But uh, people have been watching Gaelic games all over the world and uh, joining us to discuss his experience of the game in the United States is Cleveland Brown. Hey y'all, thanks so much for having me on your show. <laughs> You guys sound so funny. <laughs> Thanks very much for joining us, Cleveland. Uh, now, you were saying that you have very strong Irish connections. Yeah, my family came from Mayo, like your t shirt, Mr. Kenny. But uh, they left for the States during the famine. But my family, we never lost touch with our Irish roots, though. <laughs> That's easier for your jolly character. But uh, you, you say you have a huge interest in GAA. But did you ever play the sport over in the States? No, I never played, but my friend Peter, 
He also got Irish connections, but he used to play in Gaelic Park in New York. And when he got hit by another player, I was like, oh, that's nasty. You say you never played Cleveland, but do you watch many games when you're over in the United States? Oh, yeah, all the time. Uh, next Sunday, I watch the Mayo versus Kerry match in the Clam with my friends. Me and Joe, we follow Mayo, but Peter and Quagmire, <laughs> they rooting for Kerry. <laughs> but either way, we're going to get drunk and try and forget our problem. Ah, uh, jeez, that's great. You're watching the matches over and all. But, uh, that's all we have time for this week. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, Cleveland. My pleasure. Mayo for Sam. <laughs> thank you very much for listening to this week's show. Big thank you to Joe Lucknan, Brian Cody, and the Kenny and Cleveland Brown. But tune in next week where Joe Brawley will attempt the boiling water challenge. Slod a goodbye.